joining us once again is Rebecca Metz. Hello, Rebecca. Hi. Hi. The nice last to time see we, you again. I know, you too. The last time we were visiting, you were on your back porch. We were talking about your cats. And, we, <laughs> and I think we were just kind of in the midst of when things weren't as opened as they are now. So I'm glad that you're back. Yeah. And now we're going to be talking about the final season of Better Things. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that after being on for as many years as you've been on that show? Yeah, five five seasons and probably seven years at this point, start to finish. It's it's um, it's sad to see it go. It's wonderful to obviously to have been a part of it for so long to have been a part of it at all, never mind for all five seasons. And um, it's it's um, wonderful that we get to end it on our own terms, knowing that this is the end. It's something that, you know, people on shows don't get to do a lot. Um, I'm really sad to see it go. I love those people. I love working on the show. Um, it's really the end of an era. Tell us about your character in particular and what you're gonna miss most about that character. <laughs> So I play Tressa. Um, Tressa starts off as, so the lead role is Sam Fox, who's played by Pamela Adlon, who is the boss lady of the whole show, director, head writer, star, executive producer, everything. Um, and on the show and in life, she is a single mom of three daughters and a working actor. And I play her manager, but that's how we started. Um, and then Tressa kind of gets folded into the, the friend circle, the sort of family of choice that surrounds Sam all the time. And then um, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but at this point in the series, I'm not her manager anymore, um, but I'm still in the friend circle. Have there been other characters that you've played that once that project ends, you kind of have to like, I don't know, is there like a, do you eulogize your own characters, Rebecca? Like what's your process <laughs> like that? Because you must, you I would think that each of these people that you've brought to life, the audience has one reaction to when their favorite show ends. But for you personally, when the journey ends and there's no more scripts coming in and there's no more dress rehearsals and there's no more going over lines, what's your process in order to kind of, I don't know, what do you do? That's a really good question. I have come to learn about myself that I, there's sort of a grieving period, you know, whenever, um, when I used to do a lot of theater, whenever a show ended, I would always get sick for a few days when a job that I love is over. I, I spend a little while grieving, um, you know, and in, in television and with something like this, it goes in waves because of course we finished shooting in October. So, um, we've all had some time to process that this is the end and we've all sort of moved on to other jobs. And, and the great thing is that I'm still in touch with kind of a lot of people from the show. There are some people that I've worked with again and people, you know, we've become dear friends, a lot of us. And so we're in constant communication, which, which helps it feel the feeling, you know, that we haven't seen each other in a long time, but there's for sure a grieving process. And it's something I've just come to expect and that I know I need to go through and I don't, wonder what's going on anymore i just sort of recognize like oh yeah and and these last three episodes i think there's going to be some grieving for me and for all of us who love it it's kind of like a high school graduation right because you graduate <laughs> yeah and you've spent all the time with these people you know every day you're at the lunch table and like the, you have these shared experiences both the characters as well as you personally and then after that, you're like, you don't know if you're going to see them again. You hope to. Your intentions are to see them again. But things change, right? That's the one reason that I really do love social media is that even though I grew up in St. Louis and I might not see all these kids that I grew up with or, you know, projects, but because of social media, you can kind of still a little bit stay in touch. Maybe there could be a show reunion. Maybe it's too soon for that. I don't know. But, but wait, we're not doing uh, better things. I think... I think we're going to keep seeing each other in person and on social media. And, you know, I mean, the one thing about actors is that this is part of our job. You do get, not get used to it, but you do understand that every job you have is eventually going to end. Um, and so there's a little bit of understanding that this is all part of the process. And, you know, the thing to do is to be grateful that you had the job 
to begin with, unless you're happy to see it go, which happens sometimes too, but that's not the case here. Um, well, now, is it true? I mean, and I don't it, know. You know. We're not but, moving away. Right. I was going to say, is, there, <laughs> is it true that you have like, you know how people have like a piano and they have like all their family photos on it? Somebody had mentioned to me that they thought that you might have a piano that has all of your characters framed on, you know, like a, no? No? No. I'm just joking. With I you. sort of, no, I don't just, get, I don't just, get precious about. I'm just joking. Well, you know, the piano, the piano is in my heart. All my characters live in my heart. That's very sweet. I totally get that. I just and made that are, up. Is there a project now that you're, you know, um, well, you know what, before we talk about what's happening for you right now, let's take a look at that clip that they sent us. Okay. Let's take a look. And this is better yeah. things. Are here to take care of your pets. Well, we're here to turn your pets into lesbians. Oh, we are the quantico of lesbianism for pets. Well, I only deal with the dogs. Like, I don't even want to hear about the other I animals. told you I will handle the snake. What? Are, oh, my God. How many times do I have to I ask you not to even say the word? Like, why do you do that? Thank you. That's very responsible. But I sent you an email with everything, and we're not leaving till tomorrow. I can't right. do this right I now. I know. I know. I know. But we just need to see everything in person <sighs> before you go. After Ruben, we do not take chances. Uh, exactly. Who's Ruben? Our friend Mark. Marcy's dog, we were watching him while she was away and she left one of his meds off the list. Like off the list, totally. And he had a heart problem and we couldn't reach her. She was in Mykonos. Mykonos. And anyway, we had to put Ruben down while Marcy was getting railed by Greek bartenders. And we're back. So congratulations on a very, very successful um, experience with Better Things. I know that you have fans for a lot of your work, this in particular. Um, are you on to something new now that you're allowed to talk about or that you'd want us to be on the lookout for? Um, that's a great question. I did a few episodes of an Apple Plus, Apple TV, Apple, I should probably learn what to call it, Apple TV series, but I don't know what it's called. So I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Okay. And beyond that, I'm sort of for the first time in many years, I don't know what I'm doing next, which is kind of exciting and wide open. And, you know, I am uh, as eager as anyone else is to find out the answer to that question. I'm sure we will let you know as soon as we know. Well, I do have a lot of filmmaker friends and they're always, uh, you know, wanting to get great scripts into the hands of people. So I, I, I know your agent, so maybe we'll, we'll send uh, some inquiries that way. As always, it's such a joy to spend time with you. I just like you. You're the type of person that I feel like if we were in the same room, we would we'd have a good time together. I make friends with uh, my guests that have been on my show. And I sincerely, Rebecca, thank you. You're so talented. You have the, I guess, the resume, if you will, or the CV or the IMDb that has so many credits on it. You've been such an important part of other people's journeys that I just want to acknowledge you for that. Like all the roles that you've brought to life, people really enjoy you. You're very, very, very talented. And uh, there's still a few more weeks of better Thank things. You. So we'll have to tune in. I think tonight there's an episode. Tonight we're taping this on April 11th. I think you're on tonight. So. Uh, yes, well, um, tonight and the next three Mondays, there are new episodes. And thank you. What a lovely, what a lovely way to sort of frame um, the kind of career that I've had. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. I'm sending you a big hug. Bye, Rebecca Metz. Thank you. Bye, <laughs> I feel care. it. Bye, -bye. Bye. Until next time. Yes, until next Bye. time. Bye-bye.